We're going. We're a go. All right. Um, so I would hold. For like five count, go. It's a feel thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Like I go to, I start to feel a little fatigue, and making sure that you you're seating your hip too. You know what I mean? You're pulling your hip in. Be like if you're doing a reverse clam with your feet on the floor. It should start burning pretty quickly. Because mine are on fire. And then I do little pulses. Oh my God. All through here. That's good. Okay. Let me see if I can you know when you put something away so you make sure that you can, won't misplace it? No. No. Aha. Uh -huh. How's the work, Joey? It's been good. It's it was it was weird getting back getting back used to it. You know, I was outside, so that's a good transition. Oh, good. You know, I you have to take people's temperature, and then you check them in, and you know, I have to steer them to their class. Like this class is in the parking lot, and then there's another class over in that parking lot. And if you go down around the building, there's that's where the yoga class is going to be. At Zumba, athletic conditioning. And then the hard part is bringing the equipment out and taking it back in. Because there's a, it's like a, it's a storage wow. unit. We have two huge storage units. Are the storage units outside or inside? Outside, and we have a circus tent. Have you seen the videos on Facebook or um, or Instagram? I have not, but that's, I have not been on Facebook. I've been out on a five-day backpack. Oh, I heard about that. That counts as training. Huh? <laughs> that counts as training. I, I doubt I would survive that. <laughs> yeah, I hiked like... 8.5 miles with a 35 pound pack. Nope. That's badass, Gaynell. Up and down, up and down, big ass hills. <laughs> no, that's badass. 35 pound pack, I could carry that. I know I could carry that. But eight and a half miles? Huh? Eight and a half miles in? Yeah, and then I camped overnight set up overnight and then I had to go down a 45 degree slope to get water, a big one, a big slope, <laughs> and get so, back out. <laughs> I can tell you, water's heavy. <laughs> trekking poles are, no, just to get it because I, I it was out of water. So I had to go down to the lake, down the ravine, and then I walked in the rest of the way with the pack, which was about another three miles, and then I rested for a day. And then I decided I didn't want to carry that pack back out the same way I came in. So I hiked back out to my truck, moved my truck to another trailhead. Oh, that's good. All together without a pack, I did 14 miles that day. Nope. And nope. then hiked and then hiked out with a pack 5.8 miles the next day. I was amazed that I was able to do as much as I did. That's incredible. I, <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. I would start more humbly for sure. 
Well, I did. I, you know, I just said, well, I've got everything I need on my back. I'll stop when I'm tired. And that was it. That's a good plan. Yeah, my agenda was to not have an agenda. So, uh, yeah, well, so let's train some more. Okay, so we doing, see what Danielle's doing? Oh, the bands? Yeah. What way to band do you have? I'm going super light in the beginning. And I start here, so I'm going. Oh, nice. Yeah. So one of these blue bands. Now the other one I would try for Danielle, Danny, I would try this one. It's going backwards is really hard. Okay. Wow. Going forwards, not as, so I sort of do like a, a little circle like this. Like I go forward and then swing it out. Forward, swing it out. And then backwards, I go the opposite. Come in, go out. Come in, go out. And the monster walks, you guys remember those? Let me get some light in here. That's a little better. Until your adductors get tired. So you're in sort of a squat as you're doing this? So I'll come down to about here. Not parallel, 45 degrees. And then I lean on this leg, I pick up this leg, and I push. And okay. I the weight, and then I come in. Okay. I stand up as, I'm t I, as I travel, I sort of stand up a little bit, and then I come back down. And if you want to stay down, you can do that too. My, my glutes and hips are burning. <sighs> The other thing I was doing, which was heinous, Yeah. Danny, how's that feel? Uh, so, so? Burns, but it's that spot right, yeah. right under the sit bone on that bad side. So it's on the sit bone? It's not on the head of the humerus? It's not this time, this time it was here. All right. The head of the humerus, and it was in there. It was both. You know, it would be, I really, it's so hard to translate what pain feels like to other people. You know, there's the. Oh, I, oh, I know exactly. It's that weak, deep, 
vulnerable, like it feels like it's in there. Like a sprain. It's hard to remember sprains because our body forgets it for a reason. Not like a sprain. It's like no other feeling. And this time he was like massaging. Come closer. And I, I could barely, like that, right above the bone. Uh huh. In that soft, in the soft place, I couldn't stand him to even touch it. Barely touch it. It was just killing me. But that was just that. That was just that first night. Then it was just that achy, deep stuff. But it was. It was. Does, does this any things like this help? At that time, it nothing helped. Everything made it worse. So modify whatever we're gonna do today. Like when I, in the beginning, I had very little range of motion and what I do is I go shopping first. So I go checking out what's gonna bother me that day. My problem is that it, it doesn't hurt until it until like two, three days later. Wow. That's right. It, it's, that's why it's all like such a mystery and everything and and usually with the deep stuff i'm able to do that now and i don't have consequences and if anything comes up he'll find a knot and he takes it out and it's gone so i thought it was i was done with that it's not a terror or a labrum thing it could be arthritis i'm wondering if it's labrum i i yeah i kind of think like, it like was you feel it as you do it if you pinched it okay uh, oh well then this That's is not the, it. Labrum's like this. <laughs> you feel it. All right, so I would very gently and make this as high as you need. See the blocks are here where my fingers are? And see how I have the band here down by my knees? So you have an outward pressure a little bit. And I would just sort of sit back gently, light touch, come back up, try to roll your hips under and squeeze. But see, that's what's so frustrating, Jody, because I have the strength to do these things. I understand. It's so what, crazy. What, so what I'll we, try it now, but I'm, I can guarantee I won't feel a problem. Right. So what we need to do is we'll keep it light and then we'll go, okay, this, this session, we definitely didn't get hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? The only yeah. thing, because I did a set of um, cassock squats before and it was not a problem. The only thing we did different was two sets huh. instead of one. Did you get the video on YouTube? Did I say yeah. link? Did you watch them? Did you watch you? I would no. go back because you need to study your movement pattern. I would go back and because you can put yourself into that pat that movement pattern when you watch. You go, okay, and I would take notes just so that you can remember what you're doing when you're doing it. Like I every so often, like I hurt my shoulder recently again, and and I was while I was it was teaching Vlad that helped me. And then I went back and watched my own videos and I realized that I, I wasn't doing this before I went down for the push-up. So I was mm -hmm. pinching the interior part of my, my shoulder. And I'm lecturing him to do it. So that's why going back to basics and demonstrating all this stuff is really important because the stronger you get, the more responsible you have to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so yeah. So I would build, have a longer build up, more progressions to get to where you are and check off like level one, level two, level three. So like, even if this was like, like even in, so I have here something pushing out. You see how the band's here? I don't know if you can see this. I have a band right where we were doing the, the wide things. And I get my knees a little bit wide, sort of comfortable. And then I would just get, Yeah. It's not a lot of movement, but there's some, and be, and be aware, feel like what's going on. Like as I'm going, I'm trying to sit back and I'm trying to push my knees forward so I have a straight back. When I come up, I roll my hips under and try to stay as tight as I can here. So I actually put my hands here to make sure they're firing. And you see that's a very little motion. And yeah. Do that until you feel your glutes burn. 
Hey, Danny, you said that it was that the pain that you felt when Oscar was trying to massage you was in the tissue just above the yeah. iliac crest. He found two knots, one in front and one on the side, yeah. but like right above the bone, but above the, in the soft tissue above the bone. Right. Where there's not a lot of muscle. He was just pressing me to see, and it was killing me. Is, um, have you tried any couch stretch, even modified? Since then, I haven't. So you can modify that stretch just by being here, right? Yeah. Or you could put your foot up on, your back foot up on a block. On a yoga block, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's a good hamstring contractor. Uh-huh. Are you all at all afraid that it's your hip joint? Who? Danny. Danny, yeah, she's, she's been, and she's got, some background, her family has hip problems. Yeah. So that's a little frightening. That's fine, that's not a problem. Okay, so, and then let's, let's go stay within the realm of mo you know, modifying things and leaving plenty of room. That doesn't bother me at all. So there's no pain there? No. So that means that it's not your iliopsoas. There's nothing going on in the front plane and in, in this plane. So does this bother you if you're on your knees? So try to get tall on the knee that you're going to push. So if I'm going to go to, the, if you're going this way, if I'm going to this side, I push with the opposite knee a little bit harder. So I get tall in that knee that I'm stretching on. Rip cage in, keep a good line. No. The clams, the clams may have done something, but that doesn't bother me at all. Now, it hasn't been hurting now. But these are not, these are good strengths because they're stabilizers. These are joint stabilizers, so you can, I would do the, make sure you do the other side too. Did them both. All right. Oh. So we'll go really easy on your legs today. Does um does hip hinging hurt at all? Does what? Hip hinging, like like deadlifts, that type of thing. Nothing bothers it no. usually. I don't so let's go through the movement patterns. No weight, fewer reps, and eat and, and safe. You know what I mean? So instead of holding a squat for a minute, make sure you have something to stabilize yourself. Like, see, I have a stick here. 
So I would start so I can hold all the weight on the stick. And I'm about 45 degrees here. Wearing my knees out. See how that feels. Oscar and Gaynell can do the 45, the one minute squat too. There we go. I'll go up here. Alexa, count to 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 58, 59, 60. <sighs> oh. Oh. You know what I noticed? I noticed that since we did the, 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 the banded walks, my hips feel healthier. Mm. It's so easy to take something out of the equation. It just takes one time of missing it. You mean the sideways walks with the bands around your knee? Yep. Because I could actively, I could actively push my knees out in a squat this time, comfortably, and activate before I'd be pushing out, but nothing be happening. Hmm. Oh my God. All right, um, Danny, what do you think you want to do? Um, you need to take your, be safe and just take a minute. We're not, I'm not in a rush. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. I have to be anywhere till one o'clock tomorrow. <sighs> Want to try step ups? I will try step ups. Yeah, absolutely.
Did you notice our box? Let me see. Wow. You made that? Oh, we had it made. <laughs> I did not get the chains yet, but I got the box. That's awesome. How much did that cost? With this box and other, other two stuff? Uh huh. Seven seventy five hundred. Seven seventy six. Seven fifty. So that's what, like, um, forty dollars. Yes, yeah. thirty five. Thirty five dollars. But do do this kind of woods. So half price. Half price was in the states. Well, it's so weird. <sighs> All right, step ups. Mm. Gainel, you have something to step up on? Yeah. I'm going to make sure I don't hit my head. Hold on. I've got these footstool that my granddaddy built. All right. That works. Okay. All right. Here we go. Press like press.
I brought caffeine. Danny, how high is that for you? Okay, that's perfect. And Oscar, how did Oscars go? Perfect. So you guys, you know it's you can the same This box is the same side like your box. Yep. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Your turn to get a box key now. <laughs> How are they for you? I got my granddaddy's footstool and it's just the right height. Look. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's plenty. So when you guys push, do you, do you, I tend to feel like not all of them are the same. Some I'm pushing with my, my heel and then I use my glutes and my hands and then I, some I just use my quads and I feel the part of my knee. Yeah. Then, do you guys feel that too? Sometimes my balance is good, sometimes it's not. Yeah. I notice, I notice the balance more than. So I have an idea. If I keep my head not up, but level with the earth and keep my eyes straight ahead, rather than my tendency is to look down when I try to balance, that that helps. And I'm also sweeping my arms up as I step up. Okay. When I get clear to the top, then I've got this length and also this balance. That helps the momentum as well. Let me see you do white gain now. Go ahead. Yeah, no, hers are fine. Yeah. Oscar, let me see a couple of yours. And I also tap the opposite down. Just, I can't quite feel safe coming all the way up without touching. Me too, I'm the same way. For most of them. Occasionally I, I get lucky. Yeah. Okay. You see it? Nice. Danny, see how his knee see how his knee's going really far forward? Yeah, he needs to bring his foot more toward there you go. You guys have something like this? No problem. So what I'm doing here. Oh. When I'm putting this here. So I can limit. Nice, Oscar. So let me see his. Again. Yeah, that's perfect, Oscar. It's almost annoying how fast he learns. Aprendes <laughs> <laughs> tan rápido? Some, some things. Some things. She said emphatically. Uh, I 
Nice, Danny. We'll do another set. Huh? No? No, I don't want to push it. Okay. All right, so why don't we do, um, what do you want to do next? You think it would, bridge ups? What do you think about those? I, if you're talking about bridges, I think that would be a good complement to the quad work. Yeah. Yeah. Bridge up. All right, Gaynell, you do one more set. I'm going to do one more set. Oscar's doing two sets. So. Boy. I've been doing so much bicycling and then that bike, it's like my quads are like concrete. I'm trying to get them rolled out. Hey, Joey, if you're trying to get your quads loosened up with uh, myofascial balls, you want to roll lengthwise but also cross fiber? Um, hold on for a sec. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, cross friction is, would be good, but I'm not sure how you would do that. It would have to be a ball. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ball. Absolutely. And what I do is I go shopping. Yeah. I look for a gnarly point, and then I just sort of grind it until it feels right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I kicked my ass. I only got 10, and it was lower with the weight. How are Oscar? How are yours? He did him easy. Yeah. So if we wanted to go up for him, More weight down. either higher or heavier weight, how would you do that? Chains that we haven't gotten yet. <laughs> okay. Chains, and if you want to raise, if you want to raise the block, the the thing. You can get, like what I'm doing it with, you can do it with a yoga block. Yeah. Just make sure that it's stable. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that, that's too big. For me, that's too big a jump. <laughs> no, if you can do that, God bless you, man. <laughs> do you guys have a yoga mat? Yeah, they do. If you put a yoga mat on the tile, that should stop the slipping, no? Yeah. It's a lot of the yoga. Or he can put it against, you can put, you can put it right against the dresser and just put a cover over the box. 
So I hear Tammy, don't scratch the wood. Perfect. Good. And okay, now how would you go up? How would I go up? If you wanted to step higher. I don't know that I'd want to step above 90 degrees. Well, you have to climb. How come? I don't know. It just <laughs> will help you on my knee joint. Right. So what you do is you just make sure that your toes don't would, go down. I would probably, given that I have what I have, I'd put the four yoga blocks underneath it. No, the yoga blocks with these kinds of legs that come down to a tapered point, I would puncture the blocks. All right. Probably yeah, board the board in the basement and put one board under two legs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have wood, so you could try. I like I you see me, like I'm just I'm just a little bit above horizontal. Let me see if I can get something that you like. This will be the next stage. Damn, Oscar, you're killing it. And I'm taller than him, and he's going up there easy. I'm going to take this off this side. Hold on. That's one side. Oh, look at, oh my God, Oscar. Dude. Joey, you see what he's doing? Let me see. Yeah, those are excellent. Instead, have him step down. Danny. Danny. He'll step down. Because he... <sighs> yep. Wow. Much better. Those are great. I'm not there yet. Easy work. That's amazing. He lands, he lands silently. I landed. <laughs> it's like a cat jumping. Oh, un gato. It's that levitando. Oh, no. Well, that's new. Yogi. I'm getting. Give him a 20 pound and have him put it in his hand. What? One. One. What? Give him one twenty pound. We don't have those. We only have thirty five. Are you kidding? <laughs> we're waiting for the. We're waiting for the chain. <laughs> so you have two thirty five pounds. Yes. 
You think? Does he think he could jump with a thirty-five? No. Okay. Okay. No. That's amazing, Oscar. Thank you. Very good. I did. I, this I, is the third part of the box. Yeah. It's like you get your body straight up and then bring your legs under. Exactly. That's how you, that's how you live to tell the tale. I won't tell you the guys the horror stories that I've heard. Um, the guy I live with, uh, Rick, he does uh, CrossFit, which is idiotic in my opinion. Yes. Um, he has these huge scars on his chin from missing the thing and sliding down on the wood because he was doing a hundred in under, you ready for this? In under a minute. No. That's insanity. It's just not smart. No. I've never thought CrossFit was a smart thing. No. I, right. did, I did it with Rolf and Garish and another his workout buddies. I, I This is fucked up. Pardon my mouth. Well, it doesn't make sense because your ultimate, your your neural imprint is going to be your worst rep. Yeah. So you're leaving worse than you came in. Well, not only that, it was like <laughs> there was set that up for yourself, Gay. Now it's on form. It was just like throw your body around and move. By the way, from thing to thing, throwing yeah. your body. And there, you're right. There's no neural impact. It's all right, so you want to try those? Yeah. All right, we'll do those next. She should be lower. Danny, does it feel different at different heights? I, that's a little bit. Uh, come closer. That's as low as I can go on the box. Oh, that's the lowest. Okay. All right. Let me do a set. Let me get, I gotta get changed. Hold on. All right. Do you press down through your heels or your heels? Heels. Put it right on the corner. Okay, your heel right on the corner. Yeah. yeah. Burns. 
found something shorter. It feels totally different. Right? And I got something for you guys to try next after that. So get it lower, lower, and lower. And then we're going to do this one. Here. my god that's going viral what look at danielle maggie ups she's using maggie as a weight perfect weight you got to see it danielle do another couple with her? yes with her just danielle. he's not coming anywhere near me now <laughs> all right then try with oscar All right. So do you feel a difference between the different, have you tried it now with the other side? What do you mean with the other side? Okay, so I can do it this way, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, I haven't tried it yet. Or I can spin around and have my back on it and my feet down. Okay. I thought you said you wanted to set up something lower. Um. That's fine. See how it feels. Or you or no, I'm I'm gonna use what I was using before. That, I think right. that's usable. If Oscar wants to make that softer, he's gotta touch his butt. Danny. He's gotta go all the way down. Yeah, lightly. He's not trying to wake up the neighbors. And have him Danny. Ask him, have him bring his chin to his chest on the way up. Yes. And he needs to be higher on the box. His shoulder blades? Yeah. His shoulder blades should be on top of the corner of the box. It's like they should almost hook in. Does he need the box directly on a yoga mat so it doesn't slide? Yeah. I would put it against that uh, dresser. Ponlo directamente en la tapeta de yoga. Sin. Tapeta. Yes. Yes. All the way down. Get us. Yes. Good, Oscar. Now get Maggie on there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Danny. Okay, so each increment, right? So we do them here, right? You also, you walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. Try all different angles. The last thing I want to try is we'll hold for a minute. And we'll just do that flat on the floor. Oh. 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 Helps with bridges for me is once I get up into the bridge to push my femurs toward my knees. Yes. Yes. That's driving your pelvis under. Danny, did you see how I had a band on my knees? That, that intensifies the external, the uh, medial, the glute medius. My, my ass is on fire. <laughs> or put a block between your knees and squeeze the block. That's, the, uh, that's going the other way. The opposite, yeah. Yeah, that's adductors. You can do that. I like to do external rotation, like to push my knees out because I think it activates more glute. Yeah, I can feel that. For real. You can ro roll on the side of your foot. Roll on the side of your foot as you go up and hold. Up higher, roll your hips under. and Yeah. So Danielle, what do you want to do after this? I can't hear you. I wanted to do the handstand hold off the high box. Okay. Are you warmed up your wrist yet? No. <laughs> if you want to have deep medial, if you want to have medial nerve pain, don't warm them up at all. I'm just saying that you'll definitely get that and your fingers will go to sleep at night. <laughs> Oh. 
All right. Wow. So, Ginell, try to accumulate time there. Go up till you feel yourself get tired, come down. You, you don't want to get so tired that you compromise your position. You want your rib cage in and your shoulder angle open. Okay. Do you have parallettes? I have dumbbells. Dumbbells will work. <sighs> Let me see Oscars. Has he gone yet? <sighs> nice, Gay now. Is there a reason we're not going to do it on our hands and spin the hands open? Um, we're going to, we're just using a different surface. We're doing, it's, it's, um, how do I say? It gets a different, it's different. Okay. And you don't have to spin as hard. There's less torsion involved. I see. That's amazing, Oscar. Let me see yours, you know.
Excellent. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I need to work on that a little bit. Well, the thing is, I used to, no exaggeration, I could hold a handstand for five minutes. When I started doing these again, 20 seconds was a challenge. So it's just, this is literally a matter of numbers. And spending, yeah. accumulating time upside down. Oh. So you're saying go up and then come down, go up and come down. Well, here, I would go up. Here, hold on, take this guy off. Yeah, I see what Danny's doing. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. So what I do is I videotape myself and I challenge myself to get X number of accumulated time. Same thing for the L's. L's and handstand, I try to get Whatever I can do until I feel like I can't do them anymore. The L's being when you put your feet against the wall and walk your feet up? No, L's being you hold your feet up in front of you like this. Oh, hell no. Okay, but you could do that with bent knees, couldn't you? Yes, I can. I'm just carrying on because I can't. You do this, right? Yeah. No different. It's just a matter of five pounds, seven pounds, ten oh. pounds, fifteen pounds. You know, depending how much weight you lift, and closer to your center of gravity. You get the same muscle group. Let's do the handstands first. Try to get at least a minute upside down. So count to yourself. Like one Mississippi, however, and if you can come down when you're tired and just add them up to they get accumulate a minute. Let's see if I can do it. See, I'll give you my max effort. Hold on. Wait. Alexa, count to 60. I progressively, give me a second. I should be purple. Am I a nice shade of purple? No, you look white, actually. <laughs> All right. So, I, I, as they get, as I get more tired, I walk my feet back and take the stress off of my shoulders and my hands. Yeah. So it progressively gets on my feet more. So you really didn't have your hips over your shoulders, but Danielle did. Maybe for 20 seconds. 
The first 20 seconds, yes. Then maybe a little less, a little less, a little less, a little less. Right. So it's like 100%, 80%, 60%, and I think I finished with 40%. Ugh. Wow. I, practicing what you preach is a pain in the ass. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. Oh. That's why I think every trainer, every teacher, be doing the curriculum that they're teaching. Absolutely. How much time did you make, Danny? Yours looks rock solid. Yeah. The second one I did was, the second one I did was 20 seconds. That's awesome. Your hips are like right straight over your shoulders too. Your form is yeah. amazing. Is the pressure on your hands okay? No. <laughs> okay, so what I would recommend is take- Ice. No, silly, here. I'm talking about this, the pressure of the, the muscle. The, uh, oh, that's fine. The fascia of your hands. The wrist, no, okay, I get that, that's- Ice. <laughs> but you can change that, look. So I have the bar here, right? Uh, right, so this would be my hand all the way in. This would be neutral. So I get most of the pressure on my thumb. Uh, my fingers wrap around the bottom. This is all the pressures. See, my wrist is broken here. Yep. As opposed to that. You want to roll the pressure to the inside of your hand. Well, until. You but in the beginning, and well, eventually it's going to be this. You're going to be controlling this handstand like this. That's mm -hmm. why I had you guys do this exercise. Boy, hold on. Whoa. Okay. Okay, and you can put a weight on it or get a longer stick. Right? And then try it like this. Oh, hold on. Uh. So I would get straighten your arm though. Straighten your arm like you're in a handstand. Smooth, make it smooth. Oh, wait, hold on. And then vice versa. You get strong and aware of that, that muscle. Oh, I gotta breathe. If you were in a handstand that was not using the parallel or a dumbbell, but you had your hand forward. You would be, the strength would be similar, but different. Right, but, so you're, you're just moving your shoulders back and forth over your hands, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Like when you're in front, the best right, right now, before we start balancing, I would just get some time so you can hold a minute. Yeah, no kidding. Until then, because holding a minute means that you're ready to start to balance a 10 second handstand. Okay. It's say, uh, you know. Yeah. Boy, 
Now you want to make this heavier, right? You can tie, what I do is I tape a little something on the end. Okay. I, I got a bathroom break. I'll be back. All right. How's that feel, Danielle? How, how's that feel? It's different over your head, right? Yep. All right. Does he feel it here? Yep. Now, Danny, go back up to a handstand and try to play with that. See how that feels. Good. Yep, perfect, Oscar. Alexa, what time is it? It's okay. Oh. Listen, listen. Nice, Oscar. Does the licking help? <laughs> always, always. <laughs> you can do it, Daddy. Come on. Ah. He isn't usually like this. He's just. So let me see yours, Danielle. Let me see yours. Your wrist hurts? All right. So, did you guys get rice yet? Okay. You know, you can do that. They don't have to be mutually exclusive, right? All right. Yeah, um, so we do some yoga with Gaynell. She's coming in the bathroom. Let's wait till she comes back. You feel like you did something? Oscar? Hard to Good. Good. These jumps are amazing. And his handstand is way better than I thought it would be. 
Way better. You ready, Gaynelle, to do yoga? Yeah. I right. have Danny's hip, and so. Let me clear my space so I can. I'm just gonna do a couple. Of, I'm just gonna do a couple postures lying back on your back, but I want to start standing first in a wide-legged stand. Give me one second. Just gotta make some room. Without Tammy here, I don't have my uh, my uh, valet. What tools do we need, Gaynell? Um, a couple of blocks, probably. Yikes. So let's go ahead and start standing up. And bring your feet out as wide as you can. OK. And then turn your toes in a little bit so you're slightly maybe pigeon-toed, but definitely your whole foot's pointing straight ahead. And then roll slightly to the outer edges of your feet and lift your ankles from the inside. You just notice that feeling. And then place your hands on your hips and begin to hinge at your hips folding forward, coming down with a straight spine. Your chest is coming toward the floor, yeah. And then finally release your hands to the floor or to your blocks. And as much as you can, bring your weight into your toes and bring your hips over. Yeah, that's it, Danny. Bring your hips over your feet, your ankles. Nice. Oscar, get um, a couple blocks under your hands. Maggie is definitely digging the yoga mat. And now keep your hips directly over your ankles and walk your hands forward. Yep. And then begin to move your hips backwards and forwards, just stretching your spine long and then bringing your shoulders directly over your hands. Yeah, there you go. And then stretch back, feel the stretch in your spine. How does that feel? That feels good. Just trying to think what would get into that hip muscle above your hip joint. And just go ahead and do that a few more times. Just keep stretching forward and stretching back, elongating the spine. Yeah. Jody, how's that feel? It feels good. Yeah. And now walk your hands back in a little more and just begin to bend one knee and then bend the other, moving your hips side to side. There you go. Now turn your toes out and move your hips side to side. Toes are, your feet are about a 45 degree angle. You're just slightly moving side to side. And now pause. And just hang forward. Just let your head release toward the floor. Let your spine come into a nice curve. 
Straighten your knees as much as possible. Nice. Again, bringing your hips over your heels, over your feet. And now bring your hands to your hips. And slowly, because you've been upside down for a minute, slowly come up to standing. Nice. And now go ahead and just come down on your mat and lie on your back. And bring the soles of your feet together. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. And let your knees come out to the side. But I, what I want you to do is I want you to put blocks under your knees so that there's absolutely no pressure on the inside of your thighs, that you're just supported. And you can just really relax and let go. Yeah, and so we're going to hold this for about five minutes. It's a nice passive stretch. And if there's anything that becomes uncomfortable or unsustainable, then naturally just come out of it. And yeah, you can fiddle with your blocks to decide where you need for them to be. For your joint, there to be absolutely no stress on your joints. And then just notice your breath, just a smooth, comfortable, pleasantly full breath in. And a long, slow breath out, feeling yourself relax, especially with each exhale. The exhale triggers the rest restorance, heal response in the nervous system, a parasympathetic response, which of course extends to the whole body. And if your mind begins to race, just let your focal point be on the rise and fall of your belly with your breath.
And just notice how your groin area may be softening more and more. And just bring awareness to that, especially as you exhale. And now bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and literally lift your thighs up with your hands. So assist your thighs to come up, your knees to come up with your hands. And now walk your feet in close to your bottom. And then walk your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. And turn your toes in just a little bit. And then let your knees fall together. If your knees don't readily fall together, you might try walking your feet back more in the direction of your hips. It's trying to get to a point or maybe bring your feet wider, your toes in more. Just finding that place where your knees can just relax together. Again, bringing awareness to your groins, the inside of your legs, your belly. Focusing on whatever area is being stretched as you exhale. And now keeping your feet and your knees just as they are, just begin to move your knees to one side and then the other side. This is my cat that perpetually thinks he's a quashi or a victim. My 
I assure you he's not. Now bring your knees back to center and your feet kind of more back to center. And just hug your right knee into your right armpit. And set that foot down again with a bent knee and row. Hug your left knee into your left armpit. And now roll over onto the left side of your body and bring your knees perpendicular to your hips and your feet perpendicular to your knees. So you're making a 90 degree angle. angle. And then extend your hands and your arms in front of your face with your hands joined together. I call this kind of alligator arms. And then keeping your feet and knees as they are, although your knee may pop up and that's fine. Just lift your right arm up like you're painting the ceiling with your hand and bring your right shoulder all the way down to your mat, coming into a twist. And then finally place your left hand on the outside of your right thigh or your right knee. Oh boy. And maybe your left shoulder comes over more toward the left side of your mat to lie more flat on the top of your back or your shoulders. Oh. Your upper back. Oh. Oh. And you might want to draw your right knee closer to your chest and then let it go more toward your other knee. Smoothing that knee back and forth toward the chest and then the other direction. And now bring your right arm up and over again, your palms touch on the right side or on the left side. Mm. And then just roll over to the other side of your body, setting up the same way. Lying on the left side of your body, knees perpendicular to your hips, feet perpendicular to your knees, arms stretched out in front of you, palms touch. And then inhale, lift your left arm up and over, coming to rest on your upper back, the upper part of your on your shoulder blades as best you can. And letting your right hand come to the outside of your left knee. And lift and turn your head to look out toward the left. Long, slow, even breaths in and out. Focusing on what's stretching, especially as you exhale. And then draw your knee more toward your chest. Just a tiny bit, little movements. And then let your legs straighten a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And just... Go ahead and do that a few times, just noticing 
what you feel. And now pause, bringing your left arm up and over, palms meet. And then roll over to lie on your back. And draw both knees into both armpits so your knees are wide apart. And then bring your knees together and lift your nose toward your knees, rolling up into a little ball, creating space between the vertebrae. And then slowly roll down. And stretch your right foot out toward the right corner of your mat. Your left foot out toward the left corner of your mat. Arms at your sides at about a 45 degree angle, palms toward the ceiling. Just ever so slightly draw your shoulder blades together. And then one final posture, dorsiflex your feet, pulling your toes back toward your shins. And then using the inner muscles of your upper thigh, roll your big toes toward each other. For five, four, three, two, one, and then release. Let your feet flop open. And so we'll just be here in Shavasana. Just, it won't be a deep or long Shavasana, just for two or three minutes. Just to let your body organize itself. So go ahead and roll over onto one side of your body or the other. And just go ahead using your hands and your arms, push your, yourself up to sitting. And that's all folks. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me how that felt to you guys. What, what happened? Oh, good. I felt I could open up my hips. I felt my right side release, my quadratus labrum just released. When did you feel that? In the twist? Yeah, in the twist. When you had the alligator arms? Yeah. That really worked. And I, I it just, it's been bothering me. I, and now it's like, that's all gone. Oh, good. I like that version. Usually you end a yoga practice with a supine twist mm -hmm. because that evens up anything that's gotten catawampus during the practice. And I like that particular version because it keeps the sacrum aligned. Yep. Sometimes 
and you're twisting the part of the spine that twists. Rather, it's the upper spine, the thorax spine that twists, and the lower spine that does back bends. And so it keeps that lower spine intact and the sacrum intact, but then this twists. That works good. Thank you. Good. Danny, do you feel like that was a benefit to your hip at all, or you, you won't know, probably? It felt good, and it felt good in my hip. It feels open. Good. But. Quien sabe, you know? <laughs> yeah. The mysteries of the body. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jody. Thank you. Bye. And it's so good. Bye, to Terry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so just in time. I know. Can you see her? Go on. No, where is she? Where's my girl? Maybe the head there. You have clothes on. You have well, you've got a top on. Yeah. No, I want to see your uniform. <laughs> I have never seen you in your uniform. Go put it back on. Uniform. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll let you. We'll let you come out of hiding. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Bye. I'll send you guys the video. Thank you. Thank you. And.